Hi, and welcome back to another video in the Tiny Tech Video Series. As you know by now, this series is focused on little bits of technology that you can use to supercharge your class, your online teaching, working with colleagues at the college, or even helping a student out with their technology needs. So today's focus is Google. And it sounds crazy that I'm going to train you to do a Google search. I'm actually not. I'm just going to argue for the value of Google as you can use it to research a brand new class that you're creating, as I did here over the summer. So let's jump onto Google now. Okay, so today we're talking about something that you might think doesn't have any valuable use because it's like so common. We're looking at it here. It's a Google search. So I'm including Google search because when I was doing some work on my starting from scratch video, my workshop for new faculty creating a new class, and also my workshop on teaching the basics, I really suggested that one of the best tools out there is using a simple Google search. So I've been prepping a new class for fall, and that new class is the Anthropology of Sound and Music. And we will see if it goes. It's a little under-enrolled, but I know the fire and uh, COVID is affecting some of that. But when I started working on it, I really started from scratch. I looked at all sorts of syllabi that I could find on the web that related to things like sound studies, to um, the sociology or anth anthropology of sound or music or ethnomusicology. So as I use those to create my syllabus, I really thought like this would be a great way just to see what other people are doing. I did the same thing with films. I found all kinds of cool films out there. Um, most of these were on YouTube, but I was very specific in some of these looking up titles and so forth. And I also found a ton of articles and journals that also could be used in conjunction with the class, particularly to do some open educational resources. So what I was saying to people recently is that if you're starting a class, use Google. Something as simple as the anthropology of music, and I don't want the book by Alan Merriam, great book by the way, but I just want an actual syllabus. And so in this case you saw one of them, and I already looked at these, right? This is a hit and I can tell it's actually a syllabus. So this might be interesting. No, it's not a syllabus. It's a copy of Merriam's book. So to improve on that, what I would want to do is maybe type in the word syllabus as well. And then that way I'm going to narrow my searches because Google is so massive. And of course I just found a bunch of things. So as you can see Amherst College, Anthropology of Music class, I can click on this as long as it's not behind a firewall. And indeed, I have all these possibilities. I can learn some text that might be good to use. I might find some websites. I might even find some you know, um, free videos that people are linking to. So really recommend using Google for anything and all things at the very beginning when you're first starting to research creating a new class, teaching that class. You could type something in like, anthropology activities as another example of something to do that possibly you can gain from a Google search. And the main reason I'm suggesting this is not to show you how to use Google. Everybody knows how to use Google. I'm using it because I think we often don't think because it's so consumer oriented that Google would be useful in creating materials or finding materials for our classes or finding teaching strategies that could also be effective in those same classes. So I just really encourage you to use Google. I do it all the time for my classwork when I'm looking for something very specific because the search engines are so powerful and the algorithms are so powerful. I can often find things much easier on Google than going through any other sources out there. So good luck in all your work and hopefully you can also use Google uh, in some respects in your academic or teaching career. So that's it today. It may be surprising to think that Google has this kind of value in today's day and age, but it's much more than a way to simply find useful or even irrelevant information just for fun. It's a great way to actually research, as we saw today, items for a new class that you're creating. So thanks for listening. I'll be back with more videos in this feature.